Today we're going to talk about how to use a reduction formula to evaluate an integral. And in this particular problem we've been given the integral of the natural log, or ln of x, raised to the third power. And I've written the reduction formula here for us for reference. Basically a reduction formula is a formula that tells you how to evaluate the integral. So in this particular case it says if you're given the integral of the quantity ln of x, raised to the n, and in this case n is a constant, and we have our ln of x raised to a constant of 3. So if you're given an integral in exactly this form, this is the evaluation of the integral. It's a reduction formula, and so all we need to do, instead of trying to figure out how to solve this integral, we can just use a formula that we know in advance and plug in our value. So we just need to know that in our case n is 3 and we plug 3 in for n in our formula and we've now reduced the integral. So let's take a look at how this is going to work. Keep in mind that as we said our value of n is 3 because natural log of x is raised to the third power here. So we're going to be plugging 3 in for n wherever we see n over here on the right hand side and x of course will just stay as it is. So the reduction of our original integral, the quantity ln of x to the third power, will be equal to, we'll start here with this x, it'll be equal to x times the natural log of x raised to the n, and in our case n is 3, so raised to the third minus, again here we have n, and our n is 3, so 3 times the integral of the natural log of x to the n minus 1 power. Well, in our case, since n is 3, we'll get 3 minus 1, and we'll have 2 here. So we have ln of x squared dx. Now, this is why it's called a reduction formula. Notice that our original integral was the quantity natural log of x cubed. Our new integral is the quantity natural log of x squared. So we have reduced it by a power or by a degree. The degree has gone down from 3 to 2. So we have a reduction of the degree of the original function that we were taking the integral of. So we still haven't solved completely for the integral. We have this remaining integral quantity ln of x squared, but we can apply the reduction formula again because now we have the same form as our original integral, but our new n value is just 2. So we can apply this reduction formula again with n equal to 2. So what we'd have in that case this front part here would stay x ln of x cubed minus 3. Now the right hand side of our reduction formula here is what we put in place of the integral. So everything in front of this integral here up to the 3 stays and we can draw a big parenthesis and now in place of this remaining integral we plug in the right hand side. So again we start with x and we have x times the quantity of ln of x raised to the n power, and in this case our new value for n is 2. So 2 minus, here we have n in front of the integral, so again we have 2 here, times the integral of the quantity ln of x raised to the n minus 1. So that's for us 2 minus 1, which is just 1, and we don't have to write that, but we would have 1 here, and then just dx, and then we can close our bracket or our parenthesis. And again, you see we've now reduced the degree of our function from 2 down to 1. We had ln of x cubed, then we have ln of x squared, and now we have ln of x to the first power. So we still have an integral. Uh, we need to keep going. We can just use the reduction formula again, this time with the, the value of n as 1, because the degree of our ln of x here is just 1. So before we do that, let's go ahead and simplify so we can get rid of these brackets and we don't get confused later. We'll just have x ln of x cubed minus, we're going to distribute this negative 3 across the two terms that we have inside here. So we'll get minus 3x times ln of x squared. Then we have a negative 3 times a negative 2, which is going to give us a positive 6 times the integral of ln of x dx, and remember we just have, this is essentially ln of x to the first power. So now we'll use our reduction formula again to evaluate this integral here. So we'll keep everything in the front.
and our reduction formula comes in place of our remaining integral. So again here we start with x, the right hand side of our reduction formula here, x times ln of x raised to the n power, in our case n is 1 now, so we just have that 1, minus, here we have another 1, we don't need to write it, but we'd have 1 here, so 1 times the integral of ln of x, now we have 1 minus 1, right, our new n is 1, so we get 1 minus 1, which is just 0, so we have, we have ln of x to the 0 power, and then dx. Now, this is interesting because ln of x raised to the 0 is just 1. Anything raised to the 0 power is just 1. So we can go ahead and simplify this integral. It would be now 1 times dx. So let's rewrite it. And let's go ahead and distribute the 6. We'll get 6x times ln of x. We'll have 6 and then minus the integral, so we'll get minus 6 times the integral. Remember, ln of x to the 0, anything raised to the 0 power is 1, so we get 1 times dx, so essentially we just have the integral of dx, and that's it. Well, the integral of dx, if we take the integral of dx, we just get x. So the integral of dx is x, which means that our final answer is just going to be everything in front minus a 6x and then don't forget because we're taking an integral here to add c to account for the constant of integration but this is our final answer and that's how we use a reduction formula and how we can use it over and over again to continue simplifying an integral like this until we arrive at our final answer oh and keep in mind that if you want to here you can factor out an x and get x times ln of x to the third minus 3 times ln of x squared plus 6 times ln of x minus 6 and then plus c. Factoring out that x will simplify this final answer even further. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.